Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 4, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers, where we've managed to get our hands on a Space Quest 4 hint book, which I think might have given us some more symbols that we can put in on our little time machine, time ship thing. I still don't know what to call that. If any of you guys have got suggestions of what to call it, leave it in the description. Uh, leave it in the description. Leave it in the comments section down below, please, because I, I just don't know what to call it. So, um... Well, it's just as I was about to record this, I thought, let's try it and go and attempt to put this new set of symbols into the time machine. And then I realised we don't have a time machine, do we? Not here anyway, because we had our time machine when we landed in Space Quest 10, but the latex babes flew us here, didn't they? From somewhere else, from wherever they were, so... I'm thinking maybe now we need to find the latex babes to take us back to where we first got to Space Quest 10 so we can get into our time machine again. So, I also, I, well, I also want to check out this central area where all these sort of skaters and things are. Because I wonder if the latex babes went there. We haven't seen them in any of the other shops, which makes me think that perhaps they have. But I want to go down into here and see if we can find them down there, maybe. Um, the clicking thing is absolutely horrible, in all honesty. Um, I know some of you guys have been laughing about it in the, um, previous episode. As we, do you know what, we're not even going to attempt to fight it anymore. We're just going to go all the way around and find, I, I'm sure there's probably more than one way into this place, right? I guess we'll find out anyway. Uh, yeah. So, th yeah, the walking is, is a bit difficult when you're going the opposite way to how this sort of travel what, what is this a travelator i think it is a travelator isn't it anyway when you go in the opposite way it becomes a bit of a problem but yeah where these guys are doing all the skating the skater run we want to go into there looks like there's a set of stairs there and a set of stairs there so i'm wondering if the latex babes are down in there somewhere because we're going to need to find a way out i mean we might be able to leave on our own to be fair uh there we go i thought the game wasn't going to let us walk then right Okay, Skaterama, here we come. Oh, cool music here. Wow, okay. It's the Zero G Skaterama. Here, the gravity generators have no effect, providing an ideal and unique entertainment opportunity for the entire family. <laughs> nice. Uh, can we. Real ladies don't go zero G swimming in a dress. Oh. Real ladies don't go zero G swimming in a dress. So. Oh. Oh, if we messed up. Oh, no, I wonder if we've messed up. Maybe we had to go into there before we changed into the clothes? That would be unfortunate if we have. Can we... Oh, no, we can't. Right. Okay, we might have to change tactics slightly then. I wonder if we can just leave through the front door. Maybe the latex babes are out there. If not, then... I don't know. Maybe we've messed up. We know that if we go in here... The sequel police are going to show up, but I do want to play Miss Astro Chicken at some point. I want to give that a go because we beat Astro Chicken in Space Quest 3. And I kind of want to beat Miss Astro Chicken just for the bragging rights. So we're going to do that at some point. But this is problematic. So we can't go into the skater armor wearing the dress. Hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking we go back to the entrance, see if the latex babes are now outside for some reason. I don't, I don't really know why they would be. Uh, but we'll see. Or maybe we can just take their ship and fly back, I guess. That's that's probably also a possibility. I'm sure they flew us. Oh, the software shop's closed. Well, let's hope that... <laughs> let's hope that we did get what we needed and we didn't need one of those other games, shall we? <laughs> because it's too late now, it's closed. Right, we're here. Uh, can we go outside? It seems like there is a way, so maybe we can. Yeah, okay, we can. Maybe we can just take the ship then and fly away on our own. Oh! Oh no! <gasps> Do they know it's us? Boy, isn't it 
it just like a sequel police cyborg to guard the main entrances and exits? Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, <laughs> I'm really hoping we haven't screwed up. I am really hoping that we haven't screwed up. By the way, I've been writing down the symbols. Rather than doing what I did before, which was just writing sort of like last six characters. And then, I think, was that for Space Quest 3? So I've been writing down... I've written down the symbols that we had in the hint book and on the chewing gum wrapper. So that we can sort of try things out when we, you know, eventually get off of this place. Um, can we... So we don't... We don't have our space uniform anywhere. Can we go back and, and like, get a refund or something? I'm guessing we probably can't because we've worn these clothes, right? Unless there's something we can buy in here. Maybe there's another set of clothes in here. I'll tell you what. Let's go back to the shop where we bought these clothes. See if we can get a refund or anything. Um, if not, maybe we can go back to the shop where we got the discount clothes from. Maybe we can even do that and buy some... Just buy another set of clothes. Right, let's go back. Let's see if we can can get a discount or something. If not, we'll come back here and maybe there's another set of the clothes in, in this shop. Because they had one set, right? But it was in that sort of the bargain area. So maybe they won't have it. I don't know. It seems like we can't leave the main entrance anyway because the sequel police are there. So that's a big no to that. So let's head in here. And then if th this doesn't work, we'll head back round <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> Right, in we go. Right. Excuse me, robot. Um, do you have my my clothes? Having already purchased the dress, you decide to stick with men's clothes from now on, even though it was almost too too enjoyable. But we're not wearing men's clothes. The latest in swank fashion, displayed in a number of horrifying colors. While enjoying this banquet of fashion, you wonder what you might look like in one of these cute little frocks. Hey, what kind of thing is that for a studly guy like you to be thinking? <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, fella. So... Having already purchased the dress, you decide to stick with men's clothes from now on. Even though it was almost too, too enjoyable. Hmm, okay. So can we? Thanks for shopping at Saks. Yeah, I mean we already shopped here earlier. We didn't just shop here now. So it doesn't look like we can get a refund or anything. So I'm thinking, can we can we actually get across here, or is it gonna do its thing again? Oh no, it's gonna do the thing again. Oh god, the walking is like the most difficult part of the game. Right. Anyway, we can get back around relatively quickly. So let's head round. And then we will go into the shop, see if we can buy the new clothes. Let's see if they've got any more clothes for us. That guy's blocking us off. Right, not this one. Excuse me, buddy. I, I kind of need to get past you. Can you... Can you get out the way? <laughs> Apparently he can't get out the way. Right, here's the shop anyway. That's the one we want, right? So let's let's try and prepare ourselves for walking across here. Into the shop. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're in. We're into the shop. Hello. I am dearly sorry, miss. This is a male clothing store. That's all right. I'm going to buy some male clothing from over here. Don't mess with it. The bargain shelves are loaded with all types of great things nobody would want. Yeah, can we get some of these? You can't do that. I'm sure the clerk would almost be glad to help you. Can we talk to him? You talk to yourself. There is no reply. You talk to yourself. 
Oh no, so he won't... I th I've got a horrible feeling we might have screwed up. Because he won't talk to us either. Oh, this is becoming problematic. Is there no way we can get our old clothes back? I mean, maybe we can, I don't... The, the robot seems to suggest that we can't. Like, it says about deciding to only wear men's clothes from now on. That's, you know, but... Unless they're... Are they still in the changing room? Because I guess we went into the changing room and changed and then came out, right? So maybe they're still... Back here? Can we... As you change your clothes, you think to yourself that even in drag, you still have incredible animal magnetism. Or is that just a lack of deodorant? Did it work? Yes! Yes! We did it! Alright! Oh, for... Oh, jeez. I really thought we'd screwed up there. I really, really thought we'd mess something up and was going to have to reload an old save. Oh, we're back in our old clothes. <laughs> Let's save straight away. Right. Oh, jeez. I was really, really worried there for a second. Um, right. Uh, space uniform. I never thought I'd be so glad to see the space uniform again. So does that mean we can go to... Maybe now we can go to the middle area as well because we're wearing um, these clothes. I'm guessing maybe we, now we can get in there. I wonder if we have more control. I was thinking about that as well, whether sort of the control of the walking Thanks is... For shopping at Saks. Yeah, no worries. I mean, technically you kept my money and stuff. Maybe we can go back in and change at another point. Though. Can we sort of dart across here? Is, is the walking easier when you're wearing boots? Not, not, not really, no. <laughs> I wonder if it was because we were in the high heels there, it was, it was causing a problem, but apparently it's not that in the slightest. So, but now at least we're back in this, so I'm hoping we can get into this Skaterama area. So let's head around. And let's go down the stairs. Right, okay. Right, and now we'll save again. And we'll call it Skaterama. Right. So, let's head into this little area now. Oh my! <laughs> We're flying! <laughs> this is hilarious! Where, where are we going? Is, can we actually do anything here? I'm hoping the latex babes are going to be here. Uh, I want to go down here if possible. Oh, it doesn't look like we can. Hi. The rest of the Galaxy Galleria awaits the unwary and poorly informed shopper. So... Huh. So they're not here either. So, but we... I don't really get... Unless this is just for fun. Maybe it's just for fun. So we can't really do anything there. So it's got to be the arcade then. The only place... Unless there's something we need to buy from the Hurt So Good shop. Which, you know, there's not been really anything that stood out. And none of you guys have mentioned going back to Hurt So Good. So I wonder if maybe we just need to go into the arcade. We know the sequel police are going to show up here. So we don't want to... We don't want to get too... Can we sort of... Right, let's replace this with Arcade. Now, I don't know if the sequel please show up on some sort of timer, or if there's a specific area that triggers them showing up. They came from this way, I think, didn't they? So let's see if we can head... Can we, can we go up onto here? 
I don't think we can, but we might be able to play this. It's Miss Astro Chicken, I think, isn't it? Miss Astro Chicken! Oh, good God, what's going on? Being shot at by a guy with a shotgun. How do you even play? Oh, you right... Okay, right. You right click to shoot eggs. And you left click to, to fly. Hey, you. Have an egg. I wonder how you beat this one, then. Whoa! Oh, God, this one's got a dog as well. Okay, let's get away from them. Why, why are the fried eggs following us? I should have seen that coming, really, shouldn't I? What is that? A flying fox or something? Game over. Brilliant. Well, we've got a score of six. I don't know if that's good or not, to be honest with you. But I tell you what, guys, <laughs> we're out of time, so that's where I'm going to leave it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.